Hello everyone, Jimbo TB here with episode 2 of my Let's Play Fallout 4 Mostly Blind series. So, at the beginning of our first episode, Alyssa here and her family were living in pre-Great War 2077, and then the unexpected happened, or they say the unexpected, but they, they built these great vaults, so there was a reasonable amount of expectation. Um, the nuclear war happened and we managed to escape with our family uh, down into the vault but while there we were frozen and while we were frozen uh, our son Josh was kidnapped and our son sorry not our son and our husband Nate was killed uh, so we've had a tough well we don't actually know how long it's been but we've had what seems like a, a tough couple of days for us um, and now really we want to find Josh but the priority is survival so we need water we need food we need medicines we need within ammunition uh, all this all this good stuff so from here I think I'm just gonna well I Alyssa I think we're just gonna grab everything we can we can see that might possibly be of any use um, and then I think we're gonna head down back to the old neighborhood and the old house and see if there's anything there that we can scavenge because uh, I don't really know what direction we're going to go from here it all depends what kind of clues we can find as to where Josh might have been taken but really we don't know how long it's actually been uh, see what's Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay, so we can get back into the vault using this. Take the medicine. Don't know if these will be any use, but I'll take them. And all the all the drinks. Right, nothing else. Oh, right away. I think any anti raths will be very useful depending on what kind of uh, weather, what kind of environment we find. Okay, I'll take the other way. That looks a little bit steep. Okay, we got a weapon. That's good. That's good. Now are these the people that we left out uh, outside when the when the bombs hit? I think that's the idea, but I'm surprised this gentleman's clipboard has survived. I'm su well, I'm surprised really that everyone's still here, but in not in good condition, but in better the condition than expected. The fact that they're skeletons though shows that it has been uh, at least a little while. I don't know what these plants do, but again, I'm just going to take everything in case maybe it will be useful. It's a little different looking, isn't it? Kind of nice in its own way, but not like it was. Yeah. much left. Really? As I live and breathe! Oh, it's... it's really you! Codsworth, what happened to... the world? The world, Mum? Besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. We 
Where is your better half, by the by? It's a sore point. They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Oh dear. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? I know he means well, but... Sean's been kidnapped. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It will take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're, uh, Two centuries late for dinner! <laughs> huh. Perhaps I can whip you up a snack if you must be damaged. Yeah, so we really don't know when in that 200 years Josh was taken. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I. I. Uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. Mm. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car! How do you polish rust? Well, I know what he's getting at, but for us it really hasn't been that long, so I think we're still we're still kind of stunned. What do you know, Codsworth? I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were were dead. I I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Yeah. So the robot did seem kind of naive, but he's he's not completely unaware. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Uh, I know he means well. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Well, it'll be a good opportunity to look around the old stomping grounds. See if there's anything useful around. And uh, if he's with us, I imagine that's a small amount of extra firepower. What's he doing? <laughs> Ooh, he's actually quite capable. Wow. Don't know why I came along. Follow me. What's all this? Mom, 
Nobody isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, Mum? A few people there. And um, last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Do you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? It's only been two days for me, Codsworth. I do remember the way. But we have a direction at least. I doubt it will lead us directly to Sean, but maybe someone there will know something. Certainly the robot doesn't seem to know very much. But while we're here, we'll have a little look around. Sit. Sea Captain's hat. Let's we'll see what we can see, if there's anything useful. We'll take what we can get hold of, really. What's that? It's a strange thing for a flyer to carry. Unless it's stuck to him. Ooh, one bobby pin. I really want the cutlery. I'll take anything useful for survival. Okay, um. Now, was it this house we were in before? Nope. But there still might be uh, useful things. Although, I'll try not to carry anything that's too heavy because. Again, I don't want to become overburdened. Um, especially if we do go to a new town, then anything we pick up we'll then have to carry back if we come back. Although I'm tempted to make this our uh, temporary base anyway, just somewhere to store things. Next house. I think we're just going to go through these one at a time. I'll try not to take too long, but do want any useful supplies I can find. And food, of course. to get dark now. Um, I think we could do with somewhere to, to spend the night. I'm not sure whether the night's more dangerous, but we're not exactly well equipped. Uh oh. Finding a lot of 10mm pistols, I presume that means they're not very good, but I am kind of surprised by the amount. I guess the game really, really wants you to have a weapon of some description. Or a few of them. Okay, so I think this was, this was our house here.
So there are things like this, the steel from the saucepan lid, that um, will come into play a little bit later. Um, I don't see the point in collecting it all right now though. I imagine um, maybe uh, maybe recorded but maybe not. I'll have to go through more thoroughly and just pick up everything. Find somewhere to store it. See even the even the toy cars give you screws and wood. I don't know how useful they are. Oh, we've leveled up. Okay. Uh, let's see. Not really sure what to go for this early on in the game. We haven't got too much in the way of challenges. Uh, to overcome that I know of. Uh, don't really want to go for a stealth pickpocket base character, not really. It's not really my style. Um, I'm going to go for another point of charisma. Uh, just because it might be useful later on, and I don't know until I know exactly what we're facing. I don't, I don't have anything more concrete to choose. Uh, I figure the base stats are always going to be useful, though. Okay. Now this house looks a little more uh, prepared. There's already a lantern. Someone live here. they do, I'm not entirely sure where they sleep. What's this? Um, well, I doubt we'll have anything that we can use for upgrading weapons yet. Workshop, let's have a look at this. Oh. Okay, so the uh the building is now is now available. I wonder if we can make ourselves a bed to sleep in. Yep, we can. Okay, so it's not the nicest house, but um, it's, it's better than nothing. Mm. Although I we'll need to make space for it. Let's just take these these out and move this chair to the corner. It can go. Oh no, don't, don't, don't store it. Okay, what's the time? Okay, it's not too late, so I think I'll come back to this in a little bit. But let's carry on searching the neighbourhood. See if there's anything else we can use. So we've, we've done there, let's go in here. After all this time though, I'm surprised there's actually anything left. Not just because of de degradation, sorry, but because of other scavengers. I'm surprised there's anything left. End user license agreement. <laughs> I don't know why I'm taking the dresses, but... They might be useful somewhere, somehow. Another sea captain's hat. 
kind of kind of strange we'd find two. Ooh. Any more? No. But something there, I'm not sure if it was the fridge or it was another rad roach. Bobby pin's always welcome, but oh, I've locked it. Trying to jump behind it, not oh, nothing anyway. Oh, I should check though. Nope. Okay, let's move on. So that, that house has completely collapsed. It's okay, it's one place left to check. See there's a shack in the distance over there, but maybe later. I don't want to go too far in the dark. don't know what we'll encounter. Another 10 millimeter pistol. Scavengers are leaving them. Must be really abundant. Edex. It's not an item. Okay, what have we got here? Um, Tension trigger. A makeshift bomb. Someone really didn't want this safe being opened. Uh, they didn't. They didn't exactly disguise the uh, trap very well. Well, that was lucky. Yes. Gunsmoke trail. Read that later. Something to while away the night. Uh, I want scissors. Okay, it's our first hacking minigame. Oh, and I'll admit I am terrible at this. It's a good start. I'm in. Oh, after a very good start. Okay, I'll take it. Sanctuary Hills. The list of names. Totally high strung and needs to relax. I keep telling him that, offering to help, but so far no dice. By the looks of the guy, he's self medicating with pie. Is that a drug, or does he just mean pie? Pie. My favourite tinfoil hat wearing nut job. Good for seven ampules of day tripper a week. I guess he's a one-of-a-kind kind of guy. Whatever helps the man groove. So is this guy just nosy, or is he like a dealer? Still trying to get her some buff out. I guess he's a dealer. Didn't expect the rationing to affect this, but it is what it is. He wants something called Psycho. I'm not sure the stuff even exists, and if it is, so and if it does, do I really want this Neanderthal using it? I guess it depends on how much he's willing to spend. I'll put some feelers out to my army connection. See where that goes. Russell. They still owe me for the last XL delivery. It occurred to me was it even for them, because so help me God, if I find out they're juicing up those dogs, they're going to have words about more than money. 
but we're probably beyond words anyway. I know they have a floor safe in there. Oh, I see. I've seen it. Master bedroom under the dresser. Can't be that tough to crack. Who's that? Russell. We'll have to try and remember that. Concord. Okay, well, we're going there next. O'Keefe. Still good for a couple hits of daddy -o a week. Potential pseudo-intellectual arsehole, but his money's good. Uh, who's this? Williams. Wants Medex. As much as I can get. Hasn't told me why, not really my business. Guessing there's, uh, guessing there's some sort of long-term pain management going on. Disease? He wonders a lot for a drug dealer. Sometimes he doesn't seem to care, and sometimes he seems almost, uh, speculative. Kids are usually a no-go, but this girl's got style, and she's not interested in setting, in getting tweaked. Order 20 blood packs. 20 blood packs? Some Halloween stunt or something. Or hell, maybe she's really a vampire, what do I care? She's got her daddy's money. Not so useful. Okay, Boston. Some student at CIT wants day tripper, Excel, and an entire palette. Yes, palette of Mentats. Not sure if he's doing crazy experiments, dealing to the other eggheads, or on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Don't care so long as the money's good. Doesn't have too many scruples. Young married couple, good for a couple day trip per week. Easy order, cool people, no brainer. Cop, long time buff out customer. Running into supply problems, we've had a good thing for years. I'd hate to end it now. And I don't exactly want to risk him getting all noble and law abiding if he can't get what he wants. That would end very badly for me. Okay. The old lady has upped her daddy o order. Weird but profitable. It's a weird sounding drug. What's this misc? Potential new customer in Charlestown. Wants Medex. Seems oddly desperate. Might be a cop trying too hard. Need to move slowly. Underwear model from Braintree. Beautiful, intelligent, totally weird. All she's ever wanted is stim packs. Ten per week. My imagination continues to run wild. This guy's a little strange, but uh, amusing. Okay, so... Where was that floor safe? Russell. How are we going to know whose house it is, though? Doesn't exactly sound the doors, does it? Does it? Well, there is no door. Aha. Cawthorn. Voltec rejection letter? So does that mean the dealer applied to Voltec? Oop. Okay, maybe we can cook some of this meat here in a minute. Didn't mean to do that. Is that? Aha! Lock tight. Ah. That's it. Right. So was that the floor safe we were looking for, or was that a different floor safe? I'll have to look outside on the uh, on the post box, see if it's the right name. Uh, nothing in that mirror. Let's see if we can cook some of this meat we've picked up. Baked bloat fly. Tasty. And some grilled rad roach. Let's just cook everything we have and uh, stock up. And that's everything. Of 
quite handy though, having this. Although it is strange having uh, an already lit fire with uh, no one manning it. Maybe they've not gone far, but I don't know. Seems strange. Right, well, it's getting late now, so let's see if we can find uh not find, let's see if we can make a bed for the night. Oh, we've sorry, we've already made the bed. Let's just sleep in it. Let's see if we can get a good eight hours. Okay, well, our fatigue's gone down a little bit. But we're both hungry and thirsty, so oops, let's see. We've got the water that I took from the vault. Feel better but still parched. Okay. Hydrated, good. Um cook some of the meat. Or eat some of the cooked meat. Right, you're properly fed. The time is now... well, still early, but an early start won't hurt. Although the, uh, the fog's rolled in. Good lord. Quite atmospheric. Okay, well, so what did the robots say? Past the, past the red rocket garage. Oh, we never did check this. Oh. Now, is this Russell's or. Can't tell. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so over the footbridge and past well past Road Rocket, but I can't see anything. Is that it? Yeah. Get our weapon out and Again, it looks like someone lives. Greet the dog. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy? <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. I think the way things have been going, we need a friend somewhere. So, uh, I'll take it. I think uh, anything in this kind of environment. Yeah. Oh, okay. Said he found something, but then he didn't do anything. And he can open doors. Interesting. Uh, take the cram. Nothing in the Tetronic. That's a chicken. Oh, 
Oh. Fuck me. this is useful but we'll uh, take the hides and the meat I'm not sure about the teeth can't see as many uses for that oh chemistry station um, I'll come back to that later maybe let's continue looking in here see if there's anything useful uh, broken broken broken. I meant to take the caps. A okay, red rocket terminal. Uh, they're fixing things. Still fixing things. Oh, hang on. The rep is an uppity arsehole. That's our, that's our Voltec chap, isn't it? Or was, as I should say. Okay, nothing interesting. Nice bit of law. If you want to read it, I'm sure you can. But I don't. S safe storage. That's a bit more pertinent. Nature's going to favour us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? Okay then. Perhaps let's have a look for this cave. Right below the shop, do they mean a trapdoor? I don't think so. Maybe with this. Looks kind of dangerous, but uh, no pain, no gain. Look, they probably shouldn't say that really, because if you get too much pain, it just shows you're injured. Don't know what this fungus is good for, but I'll take it. Just kind of picking up everything that might possibly be useful. standing there, watching it come out of the ground. Can't tell where that noise is coming from. A bit of rads, better be quick. Uh, I'm not going to start reading that, oh, I'll take it, but I'm not going to start reading everything while, while being irradiated. Fusion core. Now they'll come into play a little bit more la uh, later. Now in real life, I don't think I'd really want to take uh, empty bottles from an irradiated heap, even if they can be refilled. But it's I'm sure in this, it's okay. Although I'm already overweight. That's. Drop something heavy. Drop one of the captain's hats. Oops, didn't mean to pick up the teeth. Broken ceramic, broke, bobby pin, a lot of junk. He's 
smiling or growling, I can't tell. Um, Braxo cleaner. Ugh, too far. A right leg. Oh, armor. I see. I, th I thought they meant that. Thought they actually meant a leg for a second. Um. Let's see. Should we get rid of the screwdriver? Steel. Mole rat teeth. I don't think we meant to pick those up. Maybe the oil cans. I'm kind of reluctant to drop the, the bottles because of the refill capability. Death claw hide, that's pretty heavy. Let's get rid of that. Okay. I think that's I think that's everything in here. Not bad though, not bad. I wouldn't want to come in here personally. Uh, did we go over here? No. A femur. A metal bucket. head out of here before we get really sick. So now the problem is I want to carry on to Concord really but we're already uh, nearly overburdened. So I don't know it might be m worth me uh, going back to Sanctuary and dropping things off. Um, oh, it's a bit nicer out. Sun's in the sky. Everything looks a little bit nicer when the uh, when the weather's improved. Well, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back to Sanctuary, drop things off, and then I think I'm going to call that for an episode, uh, actually. And then maybe uh, for next episode, I'll meet you back uh, at the entrance to Concord on that piece of road over there, maybe. So thanks everyone for watching uh, and I'll see you again in the next part.